This is a probably a good point to do it. Let's do it. So uh, this, do is it. this is pity. This is app.pityus.io. And I've been using this to transact mostly just because um, it protects you against MEV bots. And this was like a problem that I was having where like I'd do a transaction on PulseX and like a bunch of bots would automatically front run my trades. And you could see them down in like the in the in the section down here. Like if you let's say you do like a buy and you'll see like these greens come in before you and then it'll execute yours. And then you see some reds populate right after you. And it's like, well, what's going on there really? Um, and, and a lot of times what that is, is it's bots getting in and they're making a little bit of money on you every time that you make a transaction. So I came over here and I started using this, uh, this ecosystem. So like, let's just do like a little test on, on eHex here. Uh, so let's say you wanted to use like die. Let's see what a, what a $3,000 buy would do. And what how much slippage there would be so this this uh this this uh dex uh aggregator is going to try to figure out what's the best route and if you hover over show route it'll actually show you you know where it's pulling from so if you're fl if you're flipping die into e hex it's actually pulling it from die pulse to to pulse hex to hex to e hex and then another route is doing die pulse and then pulse to e hex and then another route is die pulse pulse to pulse x and then pulse to pulse x to e hex so it's you can kind of see how these are like their own three it's t executing three different trade routes at the same time to get you the best price um and so what that ends the net result of a three thousand dollar buy is not quite a one percent slippage it's saying here it's 0.83 percent slippage so you're getting about you're getting a pretty fair price you're you're losing about thirty dollars on it's saying here about thirty dollars on a 29.91 transaction um, now, if you're talking about doing bigger buy orders, like let's say 10 grand, the slippage is going to be a little higher because you're eating deeper into the liquidity when you go to make that buy using DAI. Um, let's say it says 1.84%, and it's using the same routes, but it's really heavy on the pulse to hex, hex to e-hex route because hex to e-hex is the deepest pair, right? So you can see that here that there's $116,000 of liquidity on both sides so a total of two hundred thirty three thousand dollars of liquidity between e hex and p hex so they're like it's self-balancing in that way um and can i also add you know while we're doing this demo that if i invert this pair and switch to the line chart let's see here switch price to e hex the the e hex to p hex ratio has been pretty surprising to me like the market is definitely proving that it, it wants p hex more or at this point anyways it, it's it's really saying that you know p hex is the dominant hex um and, and the ratio is getting is, is continuing to rise uh over time here you can see that there's this big here v bottom out and then it was actually this is where i started to get convinced is when it, it got protected here this yellow dotted line is two e hex for one p hex and so that is now flipped as support and it's actually broken through resistance here and it's going higher so like you can see here kind of the how it's flipped support on there where like if i use a line chart it doesn't show it as clearly but here there was a wick here's your wicks it it broke out and then got supported and resumed off that level now i will say these wicks are concerning to me which means that people are starting to take the opposite trade it means that people are flipping their p hex back into e hex because these wicks are are showing weakness um, as this thing's rising. So I expect this to come back in and get slammed down. But it's but you know what's the worst case is that this comes gets slammed back down two to one, but some people made some money by arbitraging these two uh, levels inside of here. Okay, back to the demo. So okay. that's that's e hex p hex. So you know I'm coming in here now, okay, I'm bringing in ten thousand dollars a die and I want to buy e hex, for example. Well, it's given me this two point three percent slippage. It means I'm gonna lose like let's say what is that? 200 bucks well i don't want to lose 200 bucks that's trash so maybe i would just see, you know when i'm dcing in maybe i start with like a thicker pair which was like just having pulse like if i just bring in ten thousand dollars of pulse anyways is that does that make the route better um i don't know let's find out um because obviously with this routing is going to try to do that for you by going from die to pulse but let's just see so what is ten thousand um PLS probably like 200 million or something. Not quite. Yeah. 250 million. Yeah, 250. 225. 225 is 9900. Let's say 229. Okay, I think I got close. 
So if you do two, uh, two million or two hundred twenty-nine million PLS, see, look at here. It's given me one point six percent slippage versus two point whatever percent slippage by just having PLS instead of die when I go to execute that trade. Now, if I wanted that to be even better, this is more for like the hex gods. Like if you just have P hex and E hex, this might be more your trade, which is just um, what a hundred thousand hex million hacks let's see million five maybe okay a million point two okay let's just rough rough estimate ninety nine hundred bucks one point two two million hex p hex into e hex let's see what the slippage is right like one point five percent so a little bit even less on that in that case so the guys that are going to make like the guys that are going to do well here are the guys that get, um, you know, obviously doing dealing with this amount, this is a reasonable amount of slippage. Um, and if you're ratio trading this chart, um, the opportunities are actually a little bit better, right. To, uh, to buy, to earn back your slippage. So like if you saw this chart running up like this and then you took profit up here from P hex into E hex, and then you saw this crash back down, you know, if you're willing to play that game with a portion of your bag, well, then um, the slippage you ate up here for doing the swap, you made back on this descent because this is a 20% move. 25, 20, 20 to 25% move. So, like, you're making back the 1%. So, your net is like 24% gains um, as you get more purchasing power as your P hex that flipped to E hex, it becomes worth more against P hex again. And then you can opt to do the opposite. So it's a little bit of like a, it's called ratio trade, um, opportunities there for that. So that's the ratio trading on, on, on that particular pair, you know, um, outside of that, like if you're trying to bring in like big, big, big numbers, like millions of dollars, um, or even just a hundred grand, like it's, it's hard to, to do that without getting slippage right now because of the, there's just a lack of liquidity. Like if you wanted to bring in 80,000 bucks right now into eHex, like on, on, even on, Pulse chain, like you're eating nine, ten percent slippage. So, and that's that's just like nasty in my mind. Like, let's see, what's die for hundred grand? This is going to be a probably a pretty nasty slippage too. Thirteen point three percent. So it's we're living in an illiquid environment. By the way, guys, this is where the most gains are made because this slippage. People that are smart money that's willing to eat the slippage at the lows, they push the price up, but but they're also setting the floor because then everyone else has to buy like 13% higher, right? So it's like kind of like a catch 22. Um, so think think about all that as uh, as you're coming in. When you see these guys, some whales will gladly push the price up to absorb a ton of supply um, that, where it's cheap. Then they're injecting that dye into the pools that reduces slippage for the next guy.